Hello, I want to share with you my life verse. And before I do that, you may be wondering, what is a life verse? A life verse is a Bible verse in the Bible that, as you've read, it seems to always speak to you about something. It comes to surface up, uh, over all the other Bible verses. God seems to use that verse more than any other verse to get you to thinking about your life and what he wants you to do. I have several verses like this, but the, a major one for me is out of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. And I will share that with you in, in, uh, today. Five, verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Now, this is one I had ever since I was a child. When I was, when I was reading the Bible for myself as a child, this verse came out to me a lot. I was into the Proverbs a lot. They were wise sayings uh, from King Solomon, and this was one that really came up to me, basically saying, this is how, this is a good way to live your life. And uh, what this says is that a good way to live my life is a trust in God and not lean on, on my own understanding. Now, I think about that scene in the movie Aladdin, uh, where Aladdin is on his magic carpet, and he reaches down to Jasmine, and he invites her to come up and ride with him on his carpet. But he asks him by, by saying, do you trust me? And she looks at him and uh, kind, of, kind of suspicious, kind of a little bit nervous because, well, you're not supposed to float on a carpet. And, but yet, Alan says, do you trust me? And she says, yes. And she comes up onto the carpet with him. And you can see them in the movie. They float around and they sing their song and all that. But this is, uh, this is what he's doing. He's, he's saying, do you, do, you, do you trust that I know what I'm doing? Now, see, uh, Jasmine doesn't have to understand everything about how the carpet's flying. She just has to trust Aladdin. And this is what God is asking me and you to do, is to trust him that he knows what he's doing, that is for our best, our benefit, that he, he's working. And we have to come to that place where we have to trust him with all our heart. Not the path, not the way, but we trust him. We trust him with, our, with all our heart. And it says there, um, and don't, don't lean our own, own understanding, but also in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Now, what does that mean uh, to acknowledge him? Well, when I, for me to acknowledge God is to acknowledge his place in my life, that he is God and I am not. So in all my ways, I'm going to acknowledge who God is in my life. I'm going to acknowledge him as the Lord, as my sovereign, and that as his servant, I am to obey him in all things. And if I do that, if I'm acknowledging him, in all my ways, okay, yes, Lord, this is your will, your will be done. As I acknowledge him, I can trust and I know that he's going to direct my paths. I think this is a supernatural thing. And here we have, here we have the person, as we're walking, as we're taking our steps, as, as we're acknowledging him, as we take our steps, God begins to move the pathway or, or he moves us into the path. Either way, as we're stepping, we're stepping in the right path. Now, there are a lot of people that are worried about God's will. Am I in the will of God or am I in, his, am I in hit the pathway? Have I, have I strayed away from the path? And the thing that you need to worry about is have I rightly acknowledged God in all my ways? Have I rightly surrendered my will to him. Because if you've done that, then God's going to make, he's going to make your path straight. He's going to make sure you're in the right path. Are you submitted to him? Are you obeying him? God will make sure your path straight. So you don't need to worry about, oh, I strayed away from God's path. If you have surrendered your life and you surrendered yourself to his will and, and, and acknowledge that he's God and that you are not, because we can trust that God will make that path straight. I don't know how he does it, but I know that in my life, as I applied this verse, I know that 
God has saw fit by his supernatural divine power that I would be in the right places at the right time that's totally beyond me. And I can trust as I'm living obedient to him every day, step by step, moment by moment, I can trust that he's going to make sure that I'm in the right place. Okay, so don't worry about the things that are God's problems. Okay, worry about the things that are your problems. That is trusting the Lord and secondly, acknowledging his rightful place in your life, that you are to obey him and you're to follow and obey what he says in his word. Okay, if you do that, you don't have to worry. Now, that's been my life verse. And as I've tried my best to follow that wise advice given in that proverb, I've seen God, uh, I've seen that work out in my life. And in the times when, when I didn't do that, when I, when I started to lean more on my own understanding and thought like I knew better about my own life than God did, when I started making decisions based on that and, and, make, and, and think that I was the, one, the captain of my life, I was the, usually when I started doing that is when things started falling flat when uh, things started started messing up. So uh, today, I just want to encourage you with that devotion. If you have a life verse and you would like to share that with me, I, I would encourage you to do that. I would love to hear what your life verse might be. Okay? All right, you have a good day and uh, let's pray. Father, I pray for those who are hearing me, help us, Lord, to trust you. Help us, Lord, to depend on you, to when we can't see your hand, help us to trust your heart in all our situations. Now, Father, you, your way is the best way. Lord, I pray that you help us to, to acknowledge who you are, that you're bigger than any problem we have, and that we need to depend on you. For it is in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you, and God bless. Bye-bye.